Hey, this is Isara with UX in Motion, and I have a really simple, cool lesson for you today. Check this out. We're going to be creating a color correction slider in After Effects. Now, you may not be needing a project, you know, that involves color correction on a photo. Most of us don't, but if you do, or maybe you're like, want to know how to do it, it's super cool how to set it up, and it's really easy. So I'm going to show you how the file is set up in Photoshop, first of all, because that's the key to making this whole thing work. So check this out. So in Photoshop, we have this file here, right? This is our this is our guy. I'm just gonna click buttons randomly for a few seconds. Pretty helpful. So I have the hamburger icon up here. I could, um, and so all all these UI elements are separate from the background because I don't want them to be color adjusted. I just want the background to be uh, color adjusted. I have this little thing that I've called the layer the level status, which is just this little this little guy, this little round guy that moves back and forth. Now notice that in the Photoshop comp, you know, this area right here is not being masked out, right? It's the line is still visible. We're actually going to be using a track mat in After Effects. And a track mat is basically like a mask, but a little more versatile and pretty cool, super easy to use. Now the important thing here is notice that I have an adjustment layer here in Photoshop. And if you don't know how to make adjustment layers, you just click, you know, the adjustment layer little guy, and then you can add curves and then you can you know pretty much do horrible things if you're so inclined to your photography good for you that's exciting the cool thing is is that these adjustment layers actually translate one to one in After Effects so if you set this up in Photoshop you can bring it into After Effects and then all you have to do is just add your keyframes rather than building it there so I think that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and check this out in After Effects so I'm just gonna go ahead and launch After Effects and I'm going to import my PSD and remember to always import as a composition retain layer sizes. That's perfect for when you're animating UI stuff like what we're doing today. Cool composition retain layer style layer sizes. Merge layer styles into footage. That's fine. I'm not worried about that today. Double click to get my comp. So check this out. So what I want to do now is I want to set up this mat, this track mat first so that we're actually cutting out this line when we slide this little status thing. And the way we do that is we have this little mat layer here, the uh, like eyeballs off, but if you turn it on, you can see it's just a filled, a filled layer, right? It's like no big deal. This is how it works. So hit the toggle switches, uh, you know, little button down here if you don't see track mat and that brings the track mat field and options available. Now you select the layer that you want to have a mask applied to it. In, in this case, this little you know background slider thing. And where it says none here, we're going to select alpha inverted mat. If we select alpha mat, it's just going to reveal what's inside this little circle right here. And what we want to do is actually reveal everything except that. So we're going to do alpha inverted mat. Boom! Check it out. Now we have the little mask cut out. Now the only thing remaining then is to parent that to the uh, levels slider. So I'm just going to take the mat layer here and I'm just going to parent that to my levels status here. And now I can see that if I move my levels status, if I select the right layer, if I move my level status, the mask, the track mat actually moves with it with no keyframes at all. And by the way, if you're totally lost at this point, you can go check out my um, uh, uxemotion.net. I've got a free fast start video if you want to learn After Effects. Like this is like the video that I wish I had when I was learning. It's super awesome. It just covers the seven things you need to know when you're animating your UI in After Effects. People watch this with no motion experience all the time and they're just like, damn dude, that was insanely easy. So you put in your email here, boom, and I will send you three free training videos that are like the best out there in the entire universe on how to animate your UI, specifically your Photoshop file. And you can go to my YouTube channel and just follow. I post lessons weekly. I just started, so there's only like two lessons here, but they're super dope, uh, and go check them out. Anyway, so if you're lost, go do that and then come back here. So now all we have to do is then animate our layers, and we're set. So I'm just going to go ahead and animate my uh, level status position. I'm just going to hit option P here and I'm just going to slide this over. I hit the handles. If you hit command uh, shift H, it hides the UI uh, in uh, Photoshop. But don't forget you did that because sometimes you'll get like totally messed up. So all we do here now is we just kind of, you know, we can drag our position over here. Boom. Okay, I've got that. 
and I'm just gonna hide that again so you can actually see that there's a mask. Okay, cool, that's all we're doing. So we have that worked out. Now all we have to do is animate the levels. Now check this out. So the levels comes in here as its own layer, right? This guy right here. And if I hit Command Shift T, it brings me up my effect controls. And look, it already applied the, the levels effects to it. Now, if you're not familiar with effects in After Effects, they're just like Photoshop plugins. I mean, After Effects is really similar to Photoshop in a lot of ways, except just over time. And that's what effects are in After Effects. So it says effect controls. These are basically just like plugins uh, or adjustment layers in Photoshop. So now all we have to do is click our histogram. And this would be different if, if uh, you were doing like a brightness contrast, you would have a different thing to click, but the same workflow would totally work if uh, you were doing like hue saturation or anything like that. So you could in theory put a whole bunch of sliders on and adjust a whole bunch of colors using this technique. So if I hit U on my layer, it brings up my keyframe and I can just move my playback head over here and I can just, just jack this up and just be like, boom. And if I you know, move my playback, move my canvas out, if you hit shift question mark, it is the fit view right here, which is nice. And you can see that now the two are moving totally together and that's it. So I'm not gonna spend the rest of your time like easing the curves and doing all this stuff. This is how you uh, set up a color slider effect in After Effects. So thanks for watching. I hope this, hope this was helpful to you. Maybe you're even designing an app where you need this and you're like, dude, thank you, you just saved my life. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.